touch of water. Can you hold your nerve? This is Innuendo Bingo. Jack and Dean off of YouTube have a new show on Radio 1. It starts Monday night at 9 o'clock. It's uh, one of uh, many... A lot of YouTubers are doing a series for Radio 1. 9 o'clock Monday night is your first show. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, very, very excited. Although right now, I'm a bit scared. It looks like I'm on the set of Dexter. I it mean, is Dexter, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, you can watch this online. A lot of your fans will be at school or college, but they'll be able to watch the video later, so it's all absolutely fine. Um, obviously, you know about Inuendo Bingo. You'll hear a bit of Inuendo, Inuendo from the uh, TV or radio, which people send in to me. You put a lot of water in your mouth. Uh, try and spray it out rather than spill. <laughs> I like it looks, it just a bit all over yourself. <laughs> looks better on camera. Although and Dean also... is wearing swimming shorts yeah. today. Yeah, you he's, are. He's come prepared. Very Maybe. good. <laughs> stop <laughs> stop playing music and let me listen to Dean's voice, says Haley in West Yorkshire. Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Haley. The fans are on. Uh, I'm going to take my glasses off, actually. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, also, Vinny from Norfolk says, I cannot wait to see Jack and Dean on bingo. It's going to happen right now. Let us know if you're watching today. Tweet at BBC L1. Text 81199. All right, lads. So, all over each other rather than the bin, please. That's just for show. Yeah. Uh, please don't swear because the water can be quite cold and when it first hits you, it's quite a shock. Okay. Okay, so, Jack and Dina on. In you and a bingo. Get online. Watch this. We start with our favourite clip from Tuesday and it's Undercover Boss. Now, this lady really... Got your water there? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. This lady really does have everything in her handbag. Judy isn't just the public face of the garage. She's totally devoted to the cause. And it's not lipstick she carries in her handbag. And if you pull it out, it's double-ended. <laughs> All fine? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is also a no-hands rule. So if it comes out, it's going over the other person. Or you can mess yourself if you want. If you pull it out, it's double-ended. There we are. Mm. All right, you can swallow if you want. Get you can get yourself a refill. Steel that was. There we see are. that stoic. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> thanks to Ben for that one. Of course, talking about the double-ended screwdriver there on Undercover Boss. I'd like a bit of water at some point. I mean, I know that was the first one. <laughs> no hands. And now over to Country File. And it's always interesting to hear about the different tasks you have to do on a farm. But I. Well, I've never been on a farm, but I didn't know this was one of the jobs. OK, should we give him a wash, then? Give him a wash. <laughs> what do you reckon, bull? <laughs> I've washed lots of bulls in my time, but yeah, never a chicken. Yeah, a bit different, isn't it? <laughs> there we are. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, don't apologise. That's the game, oh, Jack. Oh, no. I mean, I did not expect it to projectile like that. No, but that's good. That's what's supposed to happen. <laughs> Perfect. I've not had a shower in ages, so it's fine. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Don't apologise about the water. Oh, dear. Washing, uh, washing male cows there, of course, on country file. Water, please. Oh, dear. I've washed lots of bulls in my time. Mm. <laughs> Don't play it again! Well, <laughs> sometimes I just like to catch you out with that. Thank you, Jeremy, for sending that one in. If you've got any clips, scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. Send them in, tell me what time and what they said and what channel. Thanks. OK, over to country file and presenter Adam Henson has entered the Cheshire show. Ready? Mm hmm However, his offering hasn't gone down too well, as you're about to hear. She's quite nice, but the, the light under colour spoils her. All right, we'll be taking some of these cups home with us. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> the whole lot? Yep. Actually, it seems as though they didn't think much of the cock. You're winning! That's what this is! I'm going to choke. <laughs> You're winning because I'm not getting wet. I like this game. Ella and Macy are in Manchester, listening to Jack and Dean in science, because they can. Alright. Water, please. Okay. Actually, it seems as though they didn't think much of the cop. Mm. Oh. Talking about the black Pekin cock there in the Cheshire Show bird competition. <laughs> no hands, please. You see a lot of hands going on here. That's not good. <laughs> Over each other. Come on, you've, you've known each other long enough. It's fine. 
Now, it's never nice to have an infestation in your house, as we know, especially when the rats are behaving like this. Lots of water, please. Refill if you haven't got enough in there. Fill your cheeks. Okay. In tendering, tenants Martin and Paula have been plagued by rats. I've got rats coming in the kitchen. I've got rats in the loft. I've got rats, in the, obviously, in the bathroom. I can't sleep properly at night because I'm scared in case a rat comes on me. <laughs> 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 it was like setting it up. <laughs> we were lucky now. We were like, it's coming. Oh. I'll come right for you. You don't want that at night time, do you? Oh, Rats dear. climbing over you. No, it sounds terrible. That does sound terrible. And that's what the housing enforces is all about. What a great show. I'm scared in case a rat comes on me. <sighs> okay, uh, <laughs> that was a good one. That might be my new favourite. I think that is the best one so far. <laughs> Loads of people spotted that one, including Darren in Leek, Pete in Leicestershire, Tony in Sunderland, Joanna from Canterbury and Liz in Teesside and so many more. Next, it's a classic from Flog It. Ready? Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if you've been around a country house recently, but you do find all sorts of things they used to do to keep themselves entertained. Look at the size of it, the pulley system involved, and all the linkage. Gosh, and it's wonderfully preserved as well. It really does take you back in time here. You can just imagine a spit roast going on now. <laughs> <laughs> Again! <laughs> <laughs> it was a sort of locked eyes that we had. Uh, it was like, um, it's like, I want to laugh now. <laughs> <laughs> you see, we started off quite tame and now we're on. I think you made a right decision with the swimming shorts. Yeah. I quite like it. And I wore blue, I got black jeans. I wore, this is awful. Oh, it's all fine. Uh, that was a spit roast, of course, used for cooking some rotisserie chicken off of supermarkets. Of course, there. what else would it be? That's right. <laughs> OK, here we go. I'm living proof that doing early breakfast on any radio station sends you a bit mad. And it's certainly happening to Sam Fraser on BBC Radio Solent. Oh, I'm mad, me. This morning, she was talking about catching up with her dear friend Jill in Blandford on Radio Solent. Well, when you're a teacher, you need to make the most of your time off, as you're about to hear. Ready? Jack and Dean, ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we were, catching up with the old summer holiday news. Um, and while we were having our drink, uh, one of the teachers from the school that our children were at came over and said, oh, ladies, how lovely to see you. And uh, said that his another of his colleagues was going to meet him. We ended up having a foursome in the, uh, in the garden. It was absolutely lovely. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> oh, there's a little bit of spit dang in there. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you've had it for ages. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> They are. Sam Fraser on BBC Radio Sonnet catching up with her three friends in the garden there. We ended up having a foursome in the uh, in the garden. It was absolutely lovely. Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. Lovely. <laughs> in the garden. And a grand Still got the weather for it, haven't we? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, oh, this is fun. OK. <laughs> Do people usually get this wet? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes wetter. Oh, brilliant. You should have seen Caroline Flack. That was a right mess. <laughs> now, I love the cooking section on Lorraine's ITV. Especially uh, Nadia Swahala, la, la, uh, who is really good with her hands. Ready? Here we go. Now, this is really important bit. Now, don't... When you see people that don't cook often, yeah. they will start smashing the meat around like mm. lunatics. You don't want to overwork the meat because if you do, you will get dry, rubbery balls. <laughs> <laughs> that was only a section for me. I used to have a bit of a mouth. <laughs> Genuinely does just like I've just peed myself down one side. Yes, that's right. It just, yeah, it just like she looks like you've done a lefty down the uh, down the right side. Down the right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, Dean, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Little choke there. <laughs> it was only a Nadia Swahali cooking some meatballs on the rain. You don't want to overwork the meat because if you do, you will get dry, rubbery balls. Thank you, Sims in Dorset for that one. Okay, next. Who's wettest at the moment? Out I think of Dean, Dean is. I think. I think. It's I think Dean. he is. Yeah. We'll fix yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> fix it. Eden's watching. Uh, also, another Ella and Heather as well. Okay, so BBC Radio Four next. This one's a bit weird, so bear with. Mm. One reporter from the PM program has been to Italy to drink something really quite unusual. Down in the cool depths of his cellar. 
Stefano poured me some of his natural wine. <laughs> there it goes, a rich, dark glass being presented to me. That'll work. Thank work work for me. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was my favourite one. <laughs> That's a good one, isn't it? Sound effect that went with it, I think. Yeah. Just some uh, just some homemade wine there from Stefano. Some of his natural wine. Mm. Mm, delicious. Lovely. I'd love to try very some. Good. I would. I certainly would next time. I'm in Italy. <laughs> okay. I think. Cam off of York sent that one. Next. This is going on a bit, but I'm enjoying it. Um, I don't want it to end. Next, it's Game Show Tribes on BBC Two. And Richard Osman may have found out a little bit too, informa uh, too much information about this next contestant. Anne. Yeah. Uh, do you like going on a cruise? I love cruising. Do you? And where I have you been? The Med, the yeah. Black Sea, up the inside passage of the Yukon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no? Fine. <laughs> Fine. Poker face. OK. Next. You ready? Mm-hmm. I really want to play this one again. <laughs> OK, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. You ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Over to Animal Saints and Sinners. We've gone round to assess them, and one of them did actually try to attack us. Um, the, one of them's also bitten the caretaker in the communal area. Oof. <laughs> yeah. It's a slow burn. <laughs> right, that's it. That's We're done. It. That's it. That's yes. it. Jack and Dean on Innuendo Bingo. Oh, did nice. you enjoy that? <laughs> yeah. It enjoy, was good. Just enjoy the right word. <laughs> <laughs> that was great fun. Oh, Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. One.